patient, we want to make sure that we are going to review the medical order for wound care instructions and assess the patient for need for non-med and med interventions before wound care dressing change. We would also want to check for allergy. Tape is an, actually a common allergy that you would see and there are all different types of tape that are available. Transport tape, which is shown right here. We have paper tape and we have metaphor tape. Now another common tape that you will see is silk tape, which is exactly how it sounds. It looks silky. We will start our dressing, performing our hand hygiene and applying exam gloves, which will be non-sterile gloves. We would want to identify our patient using two patient identifiers, being the name and date of birth. We will carefully remove the soil dressing. We're going to dispose of the soil dressing and gloves appropriately. You never want to put blood in the trash, so obviously that would have to go in a red bag and you would have to dispose it appropriately depending on whatever would be per your institution. So we are going to again perform hand hygiene and apply gloves. Since this is a clean dressing, again we're going to apply exam gloves. We have a actual dressing tray which we have sterile 4 by 4s that we're going to use to clean the wound and we're going to apply our unopened solution of normal saline that we will pour over our gauze again to just clean the area. So you don't want it to be soaking wet, you kind of want to wring it out a little and make like a little pocket and go ahead and wipe your wound down. Being careful to apply gentle pressure because again this is an incision and we don't want to cause harm to our patient. Once we have cleaned this area appropriately, we will then dispose of what we don't need and we will open our surgical sponges, which again are just four by fours. And we will apply it to our patient per our MD order. As we apply our gauze, we will secure our dressing As we apply our tape, we are going to remember to only tape one inch of the skin touching the tape because that will just help decrease any skin irritation. There are certain ways that you can tape a dressing. You can do too long and then too short at the bottom and that's what Chris is doing for us today. And this will secure your wound and creates an occlusive dressing. And from here, again, like we said, we will date it, time it, and initial it. And then we will remove our gloves and dispose of them appropriately. And since we don't have any blood, we can put them in the trash can along with all of our trash that we have accumulated throughout this dressing change process. And we will again perform hand hygiene. Wash your hands before starting, as this victim to assume a comfortable position of the victim. Be sure the bandage is well firm. Assess skin before applying bandage. Observe circulation by noting pulse, skin color, and temperature. When bandaging a joint, ensure flexibility. Always have a clean work.
Bandaging is protective covering applied to the wound. Purposes To create pressure over an area To immobilize a part of the body and restrict its motion To support and protect wound from contamination To reduce bleeding or prevent edema To secure a splint or dressing Types of bandaging Scalp injury Forehead injury Ear, cheek, jaw injury Shoulder injury chest injury Arm elbow injury
रिस्ट इंजरी and horizontal injury vertical injury injury 